In this video I'm going to model an image that I found on Google. If you want to download the image, link is in the description. All the plugins that I use are in the description. Let's start. Delete the cube and add a plane. Select this edge and extrude it on the z-axis. Adjust the proportion if you like or you can leave it as it is. Add a loop and move it on the x-axis to prepare for extrusion. Select this edge and extrude it on the y-axis, then extrude it on the z-axis. Add a loop cut in the middle and bevel the selected edges. Use the scroll wheel to add loop. Again add a loop, but this time after pressing Ctrl plus R press 2 to add two loop cuts and scale it on the Y axis. This edges will serve as a support loops. Add a loop cut in the middle and bevel it. Go to object mode and add solidify modifier and make sure the even thickness is turned on. Add a subdivision surface modifier by pressing Ctrl plus 2. Go to edit mode. Select these two vertices and bevel it by pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus B, increase the number of segments by using the scroll wheel. Use loop tools to make the beveled vertices circular. You should enable loop tools add-on to use this feature. Go to edit and preferences and select add-ons and search for loop tools. Adjust the circularize faces as necessary. Remove the end gone by connecting these vertices. Select these faces and do inset command. This will serve as our support loop, then delete the faces. Now it's time to add support loops to our model. To improve the flow of our loops select these three vertices and merge them in the middle and remove the unnecessary edges. In order to fix this mesh artifact select these edges and move them on the y-axis. Add a support loop.
And that's it. Thank you for watching.